And topping the news at 5.30, a bizarre sight in the Steel City. Sheep and other four-legged creatures were running loose in the streets and yards of Lackawanna last night. News 4's Al Vauders is here with more on the animals that escaped from a slaughterhouse. Al? Jackie, more than 100 sheep, goats, and even cows roam the streets of Lackawanna after breaking out of a nearby slaughterhouse. The owners aren't sure how the livestock escaped, but city officials suspect the animals walked right out the door. Just like an old-time roundup, cops and a few passers-by herding the sheep and goats and cows that had just escaped the Lackawanna Halal Market and Slaughterhouse on Ridge Road. Some of the police officers um, were chasing these uh, animals around, trying to get them back into the slaughterhouse. No one was hurt in the roundup, and all of the animals were returned to the meat market safely. So how did it happen? It appears it was not a break-in to the business here. Someone left inadvertently left a garage door open on, in the building there, and the animals were able to escape out of the building. The halal meat market has been controversial since the owners announced their intentions to locate in Lackawanna. But uh, since they uh, actually started up, uh, that we've had no complaints from anybody. However, Mayor Norm Polanski told us, considering the city overtime and resources expended to round those animals up. We expect this never to happen again, and they've been read the Ride Act. If it does, it's going to cost them out of their own pocket, not ours. The owners of the halal meat market didn't want to go on camera, but they did tell us they're buying additional hardware for the doors to make sure this doesn't happen again. The woolly breakout is the talk of the town and just down the street at Rooster's Market where lamb is on the menu. We asked owner John Ristich if he's considered halal as a supplier. No, not, not yet, but not yet, but uh, <laughs> I want to go see it and check it out. Delaya Daniels told us sheep messages were all over his Facebook page. We totally thought it was a joke, and then more people started to comment about it, and then we knew it was for real. Then I took a drive up, and I seen all the police trying to wrangle all the, all the sheep. Now, no one was injured in the chase, but police told us a goat chased one of the neighbors who had to scramble for safety by jumping on top of a car. Alvarez News 4 at 530.